first to the breaking news. England will host the 2025 Women's Rugby World Cup. The RFU are promising it will be the best attended Women's World Cup in history and that the tournament's legacy will help modernise the grassroots of the game. Well, England last hosted the tournament in 2010 where the final was held at the Twickenham Stoop. The ambition this time is for a sellout of Twickenham for the final. Right, here's some key points then about the tournament. The number of teams is up from 12 to 16 with the plan to host games in multiple cities and regions. As we mentioned, the final will be at Twickenham with organisers hoping to sell out the 82,000-seat stadium. The tournament should be good news for the economy, bringing in £156 million. And the long-term aim is for the tournament's legacy to help modernise grassroots facilities, attract 500 female coaches, 1,000 new match officials and thousands of new female players. Well, RFU Chief Operating Officer Sue Day said, working closely with government, UK Sport, Sport England and World Rugby together, we will create a lasting legacy for women's rugby in England, the UK and across the world, both in terms of attracting more people to play and attracting new fans. As we've seen from other home World Cups in cricket, hockey and netball, a Rugby World Cup will further advance all women's sport. The tournament would also deliver significant economic benefits right across the country. I can only imagine how proud we will be and how special it'll be to feel to host the final at Twickenham. Culture Secretary Nadine Dory says we want to use the 2025 World Cup as a catalyst to inspire more women and girls to get active and enjoy the benefits of competitive sport. Well, we've a great platform to do so. The Red Rose is a top of the world rankings and grassroots participation is booming. We're investing 30 million in a major sporting events package over the next three years to help us achieve our aim.